All right, so let's have a look at what an amphiprotic substance is. It's a very specific phrase, and it means it means an a molecule that can act as both a proton acceptor and a proton donor. So it can either act as an acid or a base. And the most common example of this is water. So let's have a look. Um, basically, water can act as an acid. Here it is with a um, sulfide ion. And when you do this, you get a hydrogen, hydrogen sulfide ion. So water plus sulfide, sulfide ion gives you hydrogen sulfide plus an OH minus. So here, the water is donating a proton over to the sulfide. Okay, it is decreasing its um, charge, it's going to be a negative charge, which means it's acting as an acid. The sulfide here is increasing its charge, so it's moving towards a positive. It is accepting a proton, it's being a base. So acid, conjugate base, base, conjugate acid. Um, and here's water acting as a base. So we've got water with um, hydrogen sulfate, which is the second step in the dissociation of sulfuric acid. Um, and here the water accepts a proton and its um, charge becomes positive, makes a positive ion. Okay, so it's definitely a base. Um, and here we have the hydrogen sulfate donating a hydrogen. Okay, so it's gone from there over to here to make it H3O+, plus, to make the hydronium ion, and it's gone even further negative, so it's definitely an acid. So here the water is a base, this is a conjugate acid, and here um, the hydrogen sulfate is a an acid, and here is the conjugate base. Um, the hydrogen carbonate ion is a really interesting example, and it that's actually one of the things that makes it work so well as a buffer. Um, so hydrogen carbonate is amphiprotic um, and it can act as an acid. So when it's the hydrogen carbonate ion is, dis is dissolved in water, it can donate this hydrogen, or this proton, to the water and it gives you a hydronium ion and a carbonate. So here we have it acting as an acid because it donates a proton and its um, ionic charge gets Further, goes further to the negative. So it's definitely an acid. So it's an acid conjugate base. Over here we have the water, which is accepting a proton and its charge, its ion is becoming positive, which means it is a base. So base conjugate acid. But hydrogen carbonate can also, also act as an acid, uh, as a base. So here we have it in the present. So acid is actually being added to the solution because we have hydronium ions. See, this is it, how it could work as a buffer. Um, so the hydrogen carbonate comes along and it will accept a hydrogen from here to become hydrogen, uh, sorry, um, carbonic acid. It becomes carbonic acid just there. And this becomes water. Now you see that it goes from negative to neutral. So that means it's increasing its charge. It's moving towards the positive. And it's accepted a hydrogen which means it is a base, and this is the conjugate acid. And here we have hydronium ion, which is donating a proton, okay? So it means it's an acid. It's also, its charge is becoming more negative as it goes from plus to, to neutral. So it's the, definitely an acid, so it's an acid, and here the water is the conjugate base. Hope that made sense. If you have any questions, you feel free to ask them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as quick as we can. We pay close attention to those. Um, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye now. Stop the presses! Addendum! I forgot something. I know I already said it, but here it is written down. Hydrogen carbonate makes an excellent buffer because it'll mop up excess hot hydroxide ions or um, hydrogen ions as they enter solution. Now... See you next time. Bye.